As your president and first lady and as vice president, uh, we are honored to host you as the first, this is the first Diwali reception of this scale in this house ever to be held. <laughs> We have more Asian Americans than ever before in history. And we also wanted to send this message to all of you here and to millions of fellow Americans across the country who observe this sacred holiday. It's a simple message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making this celebration of Diwali such a joyous part of American culture. As we, we see it across the country, opening homes and hearts and exchange gifts and sweets and hosting feasts and, uh, for family and friends, organizing cultural programs that bring us together as a people. You know, the White House is the people's house, and together, these two, our President and First Lady, have once again made this place a place where every American can celebrate and honor their traditions. And we know and understand the significance of that. And we have learned we cannot take that for granted. And so to the two of you, I thank you deeply for all that you are. And it is so good to be with everyone here. Tonight, of course, we join with more than one billion people around the world to light the daya and to celebrate the fight for good over evil, knowledge over ignorance, and light over darkness. I have personally such fond memories of celebrating Diwali as a child. Um, like many of you, we would go to India about every other year, avoiding monsoon season. Um, <laughs> and we would go for Diwali. And I have such fond memories of waking up in the middle of the night, um, me and my sister Maya, and going, of course, to the eldest in our family, which is, uh, was our grandfather. And, and then later in the day, my mother would give us lit sparklers, and we would go into the streets to celebrate this very important occasion. As many of you know, my mother arrived in the United States at the age of 19 when she came to the United States to study. Um, she arrived by herself, but it was her goal and her mission to study to become a breast cancer researcher. And in our country, in this country, she built a life. She earned her PhD, and she excelled in her field. And she raised my sister and me. And it is because of her dedication, her determination, and her courage that I stand before you as Vice President of the United States. So as we all know, Diwali is a holiday of hope. As with so many cultures, Diwali reminds us to see the light in our world, in each other, and in ourselves. We also are reminded to shine our light in the darkness, to fight for peace, 
for justice, for understanding, even as powerful forces work to sow hate and division. We remember that in these moments where we see darkness, our light shines the brightest. That is part of what we are reminded of in Diwali. In moments of darkness, we see the light. So today, as we celebrate Diwali, let us continue to make real the ideals of our nation, the ideals of freedom, democracy, and equality for all. Together, let us, all together, light the way toward a better future.